Okay, this is a tutorial on how to solve a 2x2 two two Rubik's Cube, the simplest of all the Rubik's Cubes. However, this is not a 2x2 two two Rubik's Cube because I do not own one. But if you do not own a 2x2 two two, but you do own a 4x4, four four, you can use this exactly like a 2x2, two two, just move two at a time like this and never move one. Okay, first we're going to need to scramble it. Keep in mind that you can only use two sides at a time if, you have, if you're using a 4x4 four four, because if you do not then it will scramble it just like a 4x4 four four, and you have to solve it like one. First you're going to want to pick one side to start off with which I'm going to use the white because I always do. So you're just going to need to solve the four corners. So I'm just going to say, okay, this is the white side, this is the red side, and this is the blue side because these are like that. So I'm going to find the other red piece, the other one that has the, right, the white and the red, and I'm going to match it with this one. So I'm going to put it in its correct place. This should be very simple for anybody because this is actually extremely easy. See now that's in its correct place, so now this is the blue side. So I'm going to want to find the, the white and blue piece, which is, happens to be over here, so I'm going to take it out. It needs to go right here, so I just move it out of the way, bring this down, and now I have all of them except the last one, which we already know, and that would be it. You move this down, over, and up. Now you have the first whole two things done. Okay, now you're going to need to solve the last two in this. And it's extremely simple. And it, you use one algorithm that you use in a 4x4. Four four, and sometimes some algorithms in the 3x3. Three three. And I'm going to use my notation as this would be the right, up, down, left, and back. Never turn one. Just remember that. Always turn two. So, we have no yellow pieces. See, this is the yellow side because it's opposite of the white. So this has to be the yellow. There's no yellow pieces here. And they're only going to be in clusters of four. And we're going to need to get one. So, let's just do an algorithm like this face, up, right, up inverted, right inverted, face inverted. And see now that gave us one yellow piece in the top left corner. Just repeat that in different random ways if, if it doesn't turn out to be like this. You, only, you want one in the top right corner just like this. And now we're going to do this algorithm to solve it. And it's extremely simple and sometimes it does not solve it but it, it most likely will almost every time. It's going to be up, right, up inverted, right inverted. Actually, never mind. Okay. This last, one of the last algorithms you're going to need to know is this. You have the yellow or whatever side that's opposite of the first side, which would be yellow the yellow side, put it in the bottom right corner and you do this algorithm. Up, right, up inverted, left, up, right inverted, up, left. And see it kept it in its original position. Now we're just going to repeat that. Up, right, up inverted, left inverted, up, right inverted, up inverted, left. And see how that solved the entire yellow side. And sometimes it will solve the entire thing, but in our case, it did not. So just like in a 3x3, three three, we're going to find the side that has two in the top corner areas, which would happen to be the blue side. We're going to put that on the right side, and we're going to do this algorithm. R2 B2, right, 
face R1 or right inverted B2 right face inverted right and that's about all you need to know how to do to solve the 2x2 two two Rubik's Cube. Inesorabili attraversano il silenzio del mio cielo